Hey guys, girls, hell, maybe in a couple hot transvestite, who knows. Um, digging in this blueprint motor. Um, I've talked to them, phone with them. And as far as like a warranty thing, the, the owner doesn't want the car down so long. So what they agreed to do was have me do the motor instead of taking it out, send it to them, waiting, sending it back, you know, the kid without the car for a month. Um, so I'm tearing it apart, seeing if we can find anything wrong. If we do, we got to take a bunch of pictures, blah, 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 and they might warranty it. Um, I plopped the heads off, lifters out. Lifters, I don't know, look like just stock GM lifters. The only thing I can see right now, other than there's not many honing marks in this block, like the rings didn't see, they glazed over. Do you see it? I don't know if you can see it very well, but a little shadow right here. Oh, you can see it right there. See that little dark shadow that lines up with that bolt hole? Same with one there. That's a sign of being bored and home without a deck plate, which is a fucking no no. Um. The deck plate, basically a thick piece of metal, it bolts down, and it distorts the block. You need to torque it down, these holes distort the block. Then you machine it, and you hone it, and your cylinder's going to be round. Now when you take that deck plate off, your cylinders are no longer round, falling along. Now when you put the motor together, bolt your heads on it, torque them down, that block distorts again, and now the hole is round. And what happened here is they machined it, they honed it without the deck plate, so now they're nice and round. Then when you bolt your heads on, it distorts around the fucking holes. Now your cylinders are no longer round. Um, that's the only thing that jumps out right now at me. I'm going to pull a balancer, slide the bump stick out, and... Keep tearing apart. I did pull a bearing cap off last night. Bearings look really good. Uh, let's see a flashlight. Uh, we're back. Get the cover off. <laughs> and again, this is why you don't buy fucking crate motors, especially from these fucking hacks. <clears throat> Is there anything fucking wrong about this? Huh? A factory timing chain, not even a double roller. This motor has, I think, just under 1,500 miles on it now. As I did the valve springs in it, and that was about 800 miles. I mean, uh, 80 miles to 100 miles. And he's been running it since then, but it's been burning oil. So, I'm trying to figure out why. I think it's probably got a broken ring. But anyway, this, this, no good. No oh, crapo. <clears throat> Thank you, Blueprint. Don't get much of five grand from these guys, I guess.
Hey guys, we're back with, um, let me set some light on this. Oh, spider. Don't want to squish the fucking spider. See? It looks like a brown of I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I like spiders. I don't kill them. Um. Blueprint motor. Small block, 396. Um, as stated earlier in the, this video, I pulled some of the main bearings and they looked good until I actually pulled them all. And we found some shit going on in the cap side. The block side looked alright, but the cap side doesn't. Now, if you remember, this motor had aftermarket caps because it was a tool bolt that was converted. Um, bores, bores are usable. They're a little bit out of whack because it wasn't done the deck plate. Um, long story short, Blueprint had to send a replacement block. And the deal was When they put that motor together with these aftermarket caps, instead of taking the time and machining the surface of the caps where they made to the blocks and <clears throat> doing the line horn, you know, the line board, line horn, what they did is they ground the block itself a little bit with just a fucking little like four and a half inch angle grinder, put the caps on it, line board it, put the motor together and called it done. And while this would have lasted a while, I mean, it wasn't going to self-destruct anytime soon, probably. Um, it's not right. And my machine is called Blueprint. You know, chew them an asshole. And their excuse, I guess you want to call it, is it's not financially in their best interest, I guess. To sit down and machine all these caps individual, and then to do it right, so they half-ass it and ship it out the fucking door. But anyway, they made good for it. They sent a block. My machinist machined the block, um, so everything's done correctly now. So now it's just a matter of reassemble. I got to get a set of uh, rings. Uh, those I ordered today. I'm going to throw the bearings in it, throw the crank in it tonight. I painted it, and once I get the rings, hopefully in the next couple of days I can throw this thing together. I don't know how much I'm going to video that because we're kind of in a time crunch because this kid's leaving for college, and we still got to put it together and dyno it. My machinist with the dyno is taking off next week. So that fucks us for next week. In the week after that, I got to do 45 days in jail for driving, so that kind of puts the fox on everything. Um, but if everything goes right, I'll have the rings. What is today? Tuesday, Thursday, and I can slam this thing together and hopefully get it to the dyno on the weekend. But anyway, if I can record more of the assembly, I will. But it, it's so time-consuming to sit down and record this; it's not even funny. Uh, anyway, I'll probably. Be yeah, let me make it just a note. Um, as you can see, these caps are stamped on the face where there's no strength issue of hurting them up here anywhere. Not that it should bother them. But I want to show you a motor that's been line honed. I know I've said this before in the past, but here it is again. Now you can see the side of the cap has been machined. Nothing looks clean and new. Now, if you look at this side, you can see where it's been machined. Now, you have to fucking true up a cap side before they cut them. Then they come in, grind the flat side where it meets a block. So now, when that bolts together, the hole is actually smaller than what it's supposed to be. Then, when they line hone it, it's back to its true round size. And as you can see, the cross hatches from being line honed. If you don't see those fucking cross hatches, it hasn't been line honed. 
And if you haven't, you don't see these machine surfaces here. It hasn't been done. Um, putting bearings in. Nothing. Nothing freaky. Just make sure this surface is nice and dry. The bearing is nice and clean and dry. And snap it into your cap. Okay. Now. Like most of my motors. Now this is when you put this stuff away. <clears throat> Only you know, your assembly lube. And you use the ARP stuff. Because if not, it changes your store, torque specs. Now, <clears throat> keep in mind when you get your block back, you don't you want to run a cha thread chaser through all your fucking holes. All you did it. Like I said, I can't re I can't re take time to record every step on this motor because it's too much of a time crunch. And if you go on my other videos, you're going to see the same shit anyway. Um, but yeah, chase your threads. Make sure the threads are nice and clean. So I don't have any interference when you're winding your bolts in. Um, just got to keep in mind, bearing tang to bearing tang, but most caps are marked forward. I mean, obviously your rods aren't, but your rods really can't fuck up. But you got that little notch that holds the bearing in place. Same thing on the block. That notch goes to the notch. Hey guys, um, as you can see, it's short blocks together. Um, everything went together good, uh, thanks to these fucking tapered ring compressors. Get them, they're awesome. Um, see, I got a bucket here underneath the timing chain. I like to do when I have time, which I did because last night I let this chain soak overnight in oil in a Ziploc baggie. A lot of people just put them on, think nothing of it. Some of them dump oil on them. I do it too. Um, but it's a really good idea if you have the time to soak it in oil in a, like a plastic bag or throw it in a bucket, something. And what that will do, that will allow the oil to actually get down inside the rollers where the pins are. Dumping oil on it, yeah, it's not starting up dry necessarily, but you're not having, you don't have oil inside your chain. So it's a good idea to let it soak for a few. And the thicker the oil, naturally the longer it has to soak. Um, this is an 86 and up motor, one piece rear seal, factory roller cam. It has a thrust plate, so it's thought the cam can't walk forward, so there's no thrust bear, thrust bear needed. Um, three way timing chain, you know, the lower gear, you got. Is it either two or four degrees advanced, retard, or straight up? I put it in straight up. See the dot to dot. Um, well, this one I probably could have retarded because it does make a lot of torque. Um, I guess that's about it. My machine is he notched the block, so all the clearances are good in the rods to the block. Um, I've already put the oil pump in it and <clears throat> put the oil pan on. There's nothing secret there, just you know that blue one piece oil pan gasket. Um a hard shaft for the pump. It's a melons high volume pump. Yeah.
Anyway. Hey guys, um, get the fucking short block shield up. Balancer's on. Just check for top, top dead center. Everything's marked. Um, they do valve stem seals. Uh, pretty straightforward. But, oh, there's a little condom. I've seen people fuck it up. And they do that by just shoving the seal down with a valve. Well, the valves are pretty sharp where the lock grooves are. And pushing the seal on, you can, you can cut them. If you can see it, there's that little fucking lip in there. You can cut that. So what they do, they got this little plastic condom. And it's funny because it's like when you go to Napa or whatever and buy a set of seals, or you buy a gasket kit that comes with seals, it will have this in there. I don't know how many fucking, like, mechanics, I guess you want to call them, that have opened these up and they're like, well, what the fuck is this thing for? It's like, seriously? And you call yourself a mechanic. Um, so you slip that on the valve. Oh, my fucking back. A little dab of oil. Get some down in the fucking seal, too. And now what this does is this covers the lock grooves. And that just flies right down over nice and easy. You take the little condom off and you're done. <clears throat> now the next thing I do is the rest of them. Did this one because that, that spring was already off. Um, I gotta pop the springs, do all the seals, wash it, put it together, wash it, and put it on. Uh, let's see, there's nothing else this fucking blah 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 about. I kind of wanted to put these on the flow bench just to see what the numbers are, but haven't had a chance. Not gonna have a chance. Too much of a crunch. Um, I'm gonna dyno this. I think tomorrow, because I had this done today. <clears throat> and I think we're going to run it up to the dyno tomorrow. I don't expect it much. Um, when he bought this motor, it was like 400 and, I don't know, 70, 80 fucking horse, something like that. With just over 500 foot-pounds of torque, supposedly. That's what, they, that's what Blueprint claims. But driving the car, it only feels like maybe 400 horse. Um, but anyway, we'll see.